Hello learners, welcome back to the course on construction methodology. In this lecture, we'll try to understand how the staircase shuttering is done and how we have to understand the staircase drawing. Uh, we, do, we did not see this uh, in the initial uh, lectures. We'll try to understand it here. So we'll quickly get into that. So before that, we'll try to see a plan of a staircase, how it looks, and then we'll try to see a video. Yeah, so this is a plan of a staircase. If you can observe, so there's a lift here. Let us not consider this lift as of now. So this is my staircase, right? So the inner to inner distance of a staircase is seven feet, nine inches. And your landing is four feet, four inches. And from up means you have to go from here. So you have 11, you have 11 steps here. The 12th one is a landing here. And there is one more flight. This is a first flight. This is my first flight. And I have a landing here. And from here, this is my second, second uh, flight, right? And always, uh, actually, what actually like if you guys believe in Vastu, then according to the Vastu, always the you know the staircase should go in a clockwise direction. Now you can see see here, right? See the staircase is up from here, so you're going from here, and then you're going from here. So that means you're taking a clockwise direction. So always uh, remember whenever you put up a staircase. I mean, according to the Vastu, if you believe in Vastu, it's well and good. Um, uh, never put a staircase in an anti-clockwise direction. Like if, 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 if it was up here, then you would have started your staircase from here and you are gone somewhere here. Then what happens This becomes an anti-clockwise direction. So according to Vastu, anti-clockwise direction staircase is not good. So always try to put the staircase in a clockwise direction. So this is a clockwise direction, right? You're going from here and you're going from here. So it's a clockwise direction now. Yeah, so we'll not waste our time again here. So again, you have to understand what is thread and what is rise. So if you're good, uh, let me open paint. Yeah, so this is a thread and this is called as rice. This is called as thread, this is called as rice. This is thread, this is rice, this is thread and this is rice. So usually this, this is called as thread. You can call this as thread. And this rise, what you can call, this is called as riser, but we call it as rise. I mean, riser is what you put at the side. Rise is what what we uh, call it as, call it by a technical name that is called as rise. This vertical distance is called rise and this horizontal is called as thread. And this from here to here, it is a going. This becomes a going. That means this is from here to here, this distance is called as going distance. So yeah, so we'll go back to that again. So this is how it is given. So you have 11 steps here. You have another uh, uh, 11 steps here and you have a, a landing width here, right? So this is how a staircase is uh, to be put up. Then they have mentioned it here. The thread is 11 inches. That thread now you understood, right? This is my thread. So this should be 11 inch and my rise should be six inches. It's mentioned here. Your thread should be uh, 11 inch and your rise should be six inches. Now we'll try to understand how it is practically done at a site. Yeah, this guy is uh, marking all those uh, things on the slab uh, uh, shuttering. So this is called as a level. So what they are marking, they are marking the number of rise and number of the thread. Like, uh, let us say in each flight, you require 11 steps. So if, if it is 11 steps, then let us say the rise is uh, uh, six inch and the thread is uh, 11 inch. So based on that, what these guys are doing, these guys are doing the marking on the shuttering so that it will be easy for them to uh, place those riser, uh, to place those risers and it is easy for them to do the concreting. So these are the devel bars, what you leave. So if you want to, let us say you have you're done the construction up to here. And after, let us say after six months, you want to build one more uh, floor. In that case, you need to have access to your staircase, right? That is why these double bars are left now only so that it will be easy for you when you construct the second floor. So this is the marking what he has done, right? I'll pause it here for a while. So this is my thread and this is my riser. This is my thread and this is my riser. So this riser is six inches, let us say, and this is my 11 inches. These things, they are marking it. Okay, so I'll try to go forward again. So this is how your entire slab reinforcement and looks looks. From there, we are taking the reinforcement. This is the reinforcement for the staircase. From there, we have to bend and take it. 
so so for uh, each and every of the steps i mean each and every of the rise and uh, thread you have to do the marking so this guy is using this method let us say this is a, a thread for him he has already taken this as a, a, what you call 11 inch and the rise has 6 inch so he has this broomstick with him with that he is going to do the marking now he is going to keep the yeah with the help of this level i mean this 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 should give him 90 degree that is why they are making use of this level you can call this as bubble tube yeah and try to go and so this is a rise for him so this is how he is doing the marking so once all this marking is done up, uh, he has reached this uh, top level where he, uh, let us say he wanted 11 steps so this level he has reached it he reached here and this is how your reinforcement looks for the uh, staircase and all the marking has been done so once the marking is done next we have to put up this rise right we require rise of 6 inches so that is why they have kept this uh, board ready now he is going to keep it uh, there where he has done the marking this is how he is doing so uh, this this was these are the double bars you can see this bar right these are the double bar which was casted i mean which was put when this staircase was casted so this was my first flight this is my second flight so while casting this second flight i'll bend this bar and i'll lap it with the another bar so this is how your staircase reinforcement looks So this is how a reinforcement looks for the staircase. So this is the rise what he is trying to put up here. Now already we have done the marking. For that marking is going to keep that rise. And try to forward it right so he is going to keep it like this so this is a second now this is my uh, first step now this is my second step and you can see the marking here exactly on this point he is going to keep this uh, you know uh, what you call you uh, is going to keep this uh, plywood piece yeah we'll go ahead again Again, he has to uh, check the level. Uh, level in the sense, let us say the thread was how much? 11 inch, right? According to our drawing. So he's going to check whether that 11 inch is getting or not. I mean, yeah, the thread of 11 inch. So th this side is getting that 11 inch. He has marked that 11 inch. The same you have to get on the other side. If you don't get it, you try to adjust it. Now this guy is uh, trying to check it on the other side. So here he is not getting. So he's trying to, you know, adjust that. Yeah, once he has adjusted, now he has got 11 inches of... Uh, thread on either side and then he has to uh, check the level whether it is you know vertical or not like uh, you cannot have up and down right 
you need to have uh, exactly what you call a level surface so that is why you can see the exactly bubble is at the center now so once this is done he has to just nail it with the help of a, a nail and with the help of hammer he'll try to nail it so that that exactly that level is cut again this center point he is trying to hit with a nail so this rise and this thread this is a center point he is going to he has put a nail here and over that he is going to keep this shuttering bo uh, board so this is what you can see exactly at that center Yeah, we'll try to go ahead again. Yeah, the same procedure will happen. Uh, so this is how they are arranging. Every time you have to check the level. So this is how the risers uh, are fixed uh, for the staircase. And after that, we are going to do the concreting to this particular staircase. So this is how it is done. So up to the level you reach to the top, you are going to do the, you are going, you are going to follow the same procedure. The tries you have to keep uh, six inches, that is one fifty mm, and the thread you have to keep eleven inches. This is rise, and this is thread. And this is the double bus, as I mentioned you. This will go to the second floor. This double bar will be taken to the second floor. Yeah. So up to the last level, we have to do the same thing. Like until you reach to the top of the slab, you have to do the same procedure. Again, uh, the uh, rise and the thread remains the same. That's it. So the carpenter will do that. Yeah. Now we'll try to see a drawing of a staircase reinforcement. How it looks. Yeah. So this is a typical uh, drawing of. Uh, reinforcement staircase reinforcement you can see it here so this is your staircase it stands it's written here uh, yeah it will start it will start from here this is one staircase this is the first flight this is your landing level then you have the second landing here it will go up again then you have this uh, third landing here again it will go up this is fourth so this is how it is written you can see the typical image also this is your sla uh, floor slab yeah, this is your plinth beam, and from the, from the plinth beam, this this the staircase is going to start. This is your first flight. This is my landing level. This is my second flight, right? This 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 was the things what we saw. This these are the step. These are the rises. We can see this. Eh? These are the rises, and these are the thread risers and thread. So these things will be mentioned in a drawing, and according to that, we are going to do. So this is called as flight. This is called as landing. Again, this is called as flight. So number of uh, uh, rises. Uh, into that distance will give you uh, yeah number of risers into that distance will give the, you will give you the total height right so this is riser and this is thread if you add all the risers you are going to get the total height of that staircase from here to here so this is there are eleven rises and the height of each rise is one sixty three let us say so total eighteen hundred you are going to get so the eighteen hundred is a height from this uh, top of this uh, landing to the mid landing to this uh, level that is roof beam level that is called as uh, one one point eight meter TOC stands for top of the concrete. So this is how you have to understand the staircase drawing. So this is a typical reinforcement that is given. MB stands for mid landing beam. You can see here, right? Uh, ML ML stands for mid landing beam because it's, this is my mid landing. You have a beam here. Where is that mid landing beam? Yeah, you have a MLB here. That is mid landing beam. In between these two columns, you have mid landing beam. So this flight will be resting on that mid landing beam. So that is what it is mentioned here. MLB that is mid landing beam. So this is how it is uh, to be understood. So let us say, uh, so 
So this is how it is given. You have to provide a 10 diameter bar at 200 center to center spacing. That is your distribution bar. Whereas your main bars are of 16 diameter at 125 center to center spacing. Your main bar should be, that is your, uh, which are your main bar? Yeah, this bar, this bar which goes, this bar which goes, yeah, these are the main bars, right? These are the main bars which goes there. There should be 16 diameter at 125 center to center spacing. And the one you can, which, which you can say, say in the circle form, they are your distribution bar. You have to provide 10 diameter at 200 center to center spacing. So again, it is given same thing here. Again, you have to provide 10 diameter, 200 center to center spacing. Again, this distribution, I mean, yeah, me, your main bar are 16 diameter at 125 center to center spacing and distribution bar are 10 diameter at 200 center to center spacing. The same is shown here, right? This is, how, this is my flight and the same thing we saw it here. So TOC stands for top of the concrete. So this is your elevation level. This is your height of your stair. This much height uh, your staircase has to go. And uh, this is your floor beam and this is a mid landing beam. And uh, for this mid landing beam MLB2, they have mentioned what is their size the mention what is the size of that beam and what are the reinforcement that you need to provide in the beam let us say in that particular beam you need to provide uh, 25 diameter three bar at the top and 20 diameter three bar at the bottom and you have to make use of two legged uh, y of uh, 10 dia bar at 100 mm center to center spacing if you have a mid landing beam then they are going to give you a cross section of that particular beam so this is how it is to be understood yeah it's the same thing again So this is a typical cross section of a staircase, how it is going to look. I've explained for a one staircase, the procedure and all remains same for all other staircase. So this is how it looks. I hope this is understood. Uh, we'll see you back in some other video. Thank you.